So we've just completed uh, the first Ordinary Council meeting for this new Council term and I think it went really well so I'm feeling uh, a bit uh, very happy actually with the way it went. There were a number of items obviously on the agenda we had reports to receive. We had the Arts and Heritage Grants Round 1 um, being moved by Council and community projects also. And I know those, those projects are really important for people in the community who need um, some extra funds for their activities. So it's always a joy to see all those projects supported. Um, we had a finance uh, report and also the new councillor representation register was passed too. So the new councillors will um, go on to a whole lot of um, boards and bodies, um, MAV in Melbourne and special interest groups, uh, advisory boards and so on. And all that has been organised tonight through that um, representation register. But I have to say that the biggest item on the agenda um, was related to um, Council putting in a final submission to the EES process for the proposed mineral sands mine at Glen Allerdale. And I'm very excited that a unanimous decision was taken to move a motion which has eight points, but, um, and it relates to the submission itself, but importantly, Council has taken a very strong stand for the community and it's actually saying that it opposes the proposed Fingerboards Mineral Sands Mine on the basis of the evidence before Council. So that means Council um, commissioned a technical report to go through the EES on its behalf and to find out where the gaps were, the big gaps, or in fact whether the EES was done particularly well. What the, that's an SLR report that was called, um, done by an organisation called SLR, but they found many, many, many areas that weren't adequately addressed by the EES. And basically council decided that until such time as it can be satisfied that all of those issues that were raised can be satisfactorily addressed, council cannot support the proposed mineral sands mine. So that was a pretty big decision for council to make and pretty exciting that it was unanimous. Council also decided council. it would object to the draft planning scheme amendment called special controls overlay provisions which effectively remove the East Gippsanshire Council as the responsible authority for land use planning outside of the mine site. So it's a quite a strong uh, position council has taken I'm very proud that it's done so. It was an amazing meeting. We had 17 people come who wanted to speak on this issue itself. One person was from the proponent, the Kalbar mine, and every other speaker spoke incredibly passionately about the impacts that this mine would have on them and their community should it go ahead. So it was a pretty powerful uh, start to that part of the meeting. So. I'm very happy with the way the, the, uh, the meeting went. Incredibly impressed with council staff, the way they can bring 17 people in to speak to a council meeting, keeping them all safe with the COVID provisions. Some of them arrive, you know, um, via Zoom or via their phone, and the council staff have got them all organised. They appear on the screen or they appear at the lectern and they're escorted down the stairs. It was an amazing, <laughs> an amazing event. So you can tell I'm very happy. Terrific.